Sports. It's in the game. On est là pour parler tactique aujourd'hui. Cela peut paraître ennuyeux, mais au contraire. La tactique, ce n'est pas seulement des datas et des réunions sans fin. Il faut voir le football sous un autre angle. Dans le haut niveau, le foot se joue aussi dans la tête. L'intelligence de jeu est aussi importante que la technique. La tactique au haut niveau, c'est ce qui fait la différence. C'est ça qui rend beau le football. Le football, c'est aussi la tactique. Elle s'applique sur deux phases de jeu. Quand tu as le ballon et quand tu ne l'as pas. C'est simple, individuellement et collectivement. Comment tu attaques et comment tu défends. Par exemple, sur le deuxième ballon. C'est resté simple. Celui qui a les cartes en main, c'est le joueur. Toujours. L'important, c'est que le message soit clair sur ce que tu veux et tes intentions pour tes joueurs. Vas-y, sois curieux. Ouvert. Observe. Étudie. Tente. Il y a mille possibilités. Mille formules. Il ne faut pas être conventionnel. Joue ton jeu. Crée. Welcome to the club. Excitement enveloping everyone here because it is a huge occasion. The Champions League final. Who's going to be crowned club kings of Europe? It's Barcelona. They take on Real Madrid and it's coming up next on EA TV. And here it is, the last lap in the season-long race for the trophy. Millions of viewers from around the world are tuning in for the biggest final in club football, the Champions League final. A warm welcome from me, Derek Ray, joined here on the commentary box, as always, by the former Arsenal and West Ham player, Stuart Robson. It's Barcelona facing Real Madrid. Well, Derek, it doesn't come any better than this, does it? This has the makings of an absolute classic. These are two brilliant teams, and at the moment, I can't separate them. Barcelona shape looks like this. Well, in this shape, their two holding midfield players will be key today. If they can get on the ball and dictate the play, protect the two centre-backs, it will then allow the attacking players to show their creative quality. Starting 11 for Real Madrid. Thibaut Courtois is in goal. Carvajal starts with Ferlon Mendy in the fullback positions. Jude Bellingham starts alongside Federico Valverde in central midfield. And the main striker today is Kylian Mbappe. And they're underway now in the Champions League final. 
We're about to find out which team is the best in Europe. Ter Stegen. Balde. Danny Olmo with it. Rafinha. Spot on with that tackle. Mendy is with Vinicius Junior. Federico Valverde. As an opposing defender, you dare not take your eyes off Robert Lewandowski, even for a fleeting moment, Stuart. Well, what more can I say? He's just a top-class finisher. Composed, technically brilliant and determined. And calling upon all his defensive qualities. Vinicius Junior. Going well. Can sit back. Can he make it count? Oh, in it goes! The opening goal in the UEFA Champions League final. Well, the replay shows us what a good final pass this is for Vinicius Junior. He just keeps his composure, and once he gets onto it, he just smashes it past the keeper with great technique. What an emphatic finish that is. Barca get the ball moving once more. How will they react? <laughs> Vinicius Junior. Vinicius. Mendy. And back with Vinicius. Corner to Real as they try to press home their advantage. Eight. Oh, the goalkeeper did well to hang on to that one. He's going forward well here, but quick thinking defensively. Plenty of support here. Kylian Mbappe. Oh, he's left his marker for dead. And the outcome is a free kick here. Well, he's gone into the book. Well, he was late and he deserved a booking for that. up defensively and Bellingham he can't hold on to it Mendy well Ter Stegen has just kept his team in it there they aren't playing well but that just might inspire them to get back into this game one minute of stoppage time has been added on he cuts it back. Oh, the man 
managers will now deliver their half-time team talks. We're at the end of 45 minutes in this game. Second half underway with Real looking to build upon a positive first half showing. And he stopped them in their tracks. Well, this could really help the cause. Trump is locked. Really high class goalkeeping from Courtois. Lewandowski. Well, that's how to keep the opposition at bay. And in with a real chance. Oh, a goal it is! The equaliser in this final. What next in the drama? Just look at this, it's a good finish and reward for their pressure. They really have controlled this game. Well, I think it's fair to say, Ancelotti can't believe his team have let the lead slip here. So, a level contest, 1-1. Carvajal. Rodrigo. Went in strongly to win the ball. Lewandowski. And a chance for the lead. Goalkeeping of the highest order. Well, he's got to be pleased with that save. It's absolutely magnificent. Stopped a promising attack in its tracks. And you wouldn't be surprised if there's a card coming out here. And that is going to mean a caution. The referee is absolutely right. He knew what he was doing there. Rudiger Chouameni Here's Valverde Mendy Nice switch of play
Well, let's just have another look at this. The cross from Carvajal is hit into a really dangerous area. And from that sort of range, you'd be shocked if Mbappe missed out. He just keeps showing us what a top finisher he is. A dramatic moment near the end and that might well be the decider well the fans want to see a shot denied by the post but a good strike yeah really good strike hits the back of the ball hits it with power just not the accuracy required minutes to go then and he's in. Well, the break looked promising but the danger has been averted well with five minutes remaining and just one goal between them still the prospect of late excitement in this match oh and with a chance oh a magical piece of goalkeeping well he's just pulled off a great save there such good reactions it really is well, Real Madrid are going to make the change now. Well, beating his opponent with ease. Able to get his body in the way. And in the right position to make sure it didn't go all the way through. Well, we are going to have a decent amount of stoppage time. Three minutes to be exact. Vinicius Junior, Valverde, a breezing past him, opportunity, and it goes, and surely that's the end of the story, they cannot throw us away from here. Well, here it is again. He goes past his marker so easily with just a drop of the shoulder, and he makes no mistake with the finish. He showed a lot of composure there. And there it is! Real Madrid, Champions League winners! Just look at the emotions out there. Joy and relief on one side, despair and heartache on the other. But we've got the right winners here. They fully deserved it on the night. For these players, well, it's the night of their lives. And they're determined to enjoy every millisecond. Well, they have to make the most of this, don't they? It's a great thing. What an achievement from them. Well, they don't need to be reminded about what comes next. It's the presentation of the coveted Champions League trophy. Well, there's some tired players out there, but what you can be sure of, they'll find some energy when they get their hands on the trophy. They'll be going mad in the next few moments. The Champions League winners, Real Madrid. Well, this is what they wanted. What a moment for these players. They've worked so hard to win this trophy. They've been fantastic. And you can feel the emotion. It's natural to reflect on this final, but so much hard work has gone into the entire campaign. Memories, memories. Well, the celebrations are ongoing. I don't think they're going to be brought to an end anytime soon as they save at the moment with their supporters. And they've certainly played their part, the fans. They deserve to be involved with these celebrations. They've made so much noise here. And now for the photographs that will surely stand the test of 
time. And what a great achievement for this club. And these are photos that are going to be cherished for a long time to come.